For Muslims, none of the daily prayers can be done correctly without knowing the Qibla. So, for a pious and sincere worshipper, every prayer he performs involves Naijani and an ascension, as it were. Imagine watching the scene from space and we may see all the Muslims at prayer like a huge flower the size of the earth, opening and closing its millions of petals. The change of the Qibla is a declaration by God of the perfection of the first religion as the final religion for mankind. God is one, the religion is one, and the Ummah is one. Change of Qibla Two mementos events in the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, bear special significance as regards the institution of prayer in Islam. The mirage, the Prophet's ascension, and the change of the Qibla from Jerusalem to Mecca. There is general agreement among Muslim scholars that the Prophet's night journey and ascension occurred in the months of Rajab, most probably on the 27th of that month. About a year before the Hijra, the Prophet's emigration from Mecca to Medina, and the change of Qibla happened in the middle of Shaban, about 16 months after the emigration. Muslims believe that during the Prophet's mirage, God instituted the five daily obligatory prayers for believers. And it was in the middle of a congregational prayer in Medina that God's command came to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, about the change of Qibla. We read about it in the Quran, meaning, the fools among the people will say, what has turned them from the Qibla to which they were used? Say, to Allah belong both east and west. He guides whom he pleases to a way that is straight. Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 142. The fools in this context are those who criticize the change of Qibla without any understanding of the matter. Before considering the meaning of the change of Qibla, we need to understand the importance of what is called the Qibla for Muslims. For Muslims, none of the daily prayers can be done correctly without knowing the Qibla. Qibla means orientation or a sense of true direction. At the beginning of every prayer, the Muslims face the house of God in Mecca, thereby spiritually connecting themselves along an invisible line that passes through every point on earth to the spiritual center in Mecca. Whether they pray alone or in congregation, they do so as part of the greater community of Islam. Thus, five times a day, each Muslim is aligned to the other Muslims who form concentric circles around the Kaaba encircling the earth. Imagine watching the scene from space and we may see all the Muslims at prayer like a huge flower the size of the earth opening and closing its millions of petals. Each of those petals represents a Muslim at prayer. Thus, the Qibla, which is unique to Islam, has a significant role in bringing together every nation, race and tribe on this planet regularly five times a day so as to link them to the common center at Mecca. Being central to the worshippers in Islam, the Qibla serves at the heart of the Ummah of Islam supplying lifeblood to the spiritual existence of Muslims all over the world and keeping the concept of unity in every sense of the term. God is one, the religion is one, and the Ummah is one. Every time we stand in prayer, Muslims may say they make a spiritual journey to the Kaaba in Mecca, somewhat at the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him did during his night journey to Jerusalem. And from the Kaaba, our spirit travels upward 
towards God the Almighty, just as the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, during his ascension from Jerusalem. So, for a pious and sincere worshipper, every prayer he performs involves night journey and an ascension, as it were. During his ascension, in a mystical experience of immense spiritual significance, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, led all the earlier prophets in prayer in Al-Aqsa Mosque at Jerusalem. This was a wonderful event that symbolized not only the oneness of both the houses of worship, the Kaaba and Al-Aqsa, but also the oneness of the guidance of God given through all the prophets. Because Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was sent as the final prophet for the whole of humanity, consisting chiefly of the children of Abraham by his eldest son Ishmael and the second son Isaac, peace be upon them both. Jerusalem represents the line of Isaac as Mecca does the line of Ishmael. The foregoing highlights the significance of both the cities serving at the Qibla of Muslims, first Jerusalem and then Mecca. The final prophet born in the line of Ishmael, the first son of Abraham, at Mecca was commanded to turn to Jerusalem for prayer. And then, as a significant turning point in the process of completion of the religion of Islam, God asks Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, to turn to the first house of God in Mecca for worship. And God says in the Quran what means, Thus have we made of you an ummah justly balanced, that you might be witnesses over the nations, and the messenger a witness over yourselves. And we appointed the Qibla to which thou was used, only to test those who followed the messenger from those who would turn on their heels from the faith. Indeed, it was a change mementos, except to those guided by Allah. And never would Allah make your faith of no effect. For Allah is to all people most surely full of kindness, most merciful. Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 143. In the above verse, the use of the expression an ummah justly balanced that you might be witnesses over the nations is particularly noteworthy. Muslims believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is not to be considered the prophet of, a, of just a region, a race or a nation anymore. Rather, he is the prophet of the whole of humanity, and the community of believers will be a just a balanced middle nation with Mecca as its center. Jerusalem, representing the earlier versions of the religion, was not the Qibla animal. Mecca, representing the patriarch of mankind, Abraham, and all his children, was to be recognized as the center of the completed religion of God. This means that the change of Qibla had far more significance than most people at the time understood. According to the Quran, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his followers, the need the best of peoples as well as a justly balanced society, deserving of leading the whole of humanity to the path of God. That is to say, the change of the Qibla is a declaration by God of the perfection of the first religion as the final religion for mankind. Through the two mystical events in the life of the final messenger, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, God completes and perfects the religion for humanity and declares the Kaaba in Mecca at the center of the world as well as of his religion. And those who recognize and accept these cannot be parochial or ethnocentric. They have got to be a race region or nation, they have to be at the center as a justly balanced middle nation serving as witnesses over nations as the true representatives 
of the whole of humanity.